Am I in a dream right now? <laughs> had a travel day yesterday after the guys left. We saw a couple little things, but didn't film a ton yesterday. Uh, all the emotions of ending the trip this next week. Guys leaving. Guys leaving. Yeah, still in processing through a lot of that stuff. <laughs> so this is our first real day in Bruges. We got in last night and I had to figure out the bus system a little bit. It was confusing, but luckily it runs very often. So once we got it figured out, it was pretty easy. Checked into our hostel. We're staying at St. Christopher's Inn at the Bauhaus. I guess it's a chain. They have a bunch of different locations. So far it's all right. I'll drop the link here in case you want to check it out, but it's definitely a hostel. <laughs> now we are heading to the city center with the main market. We'll see there might be a Christmas market there or at least some really pretty houses and buildings to see. So I'm excited about that. There's also a big tower we can go look out of and see the whole city. There's a bunch of very historical sites here in this little tiny town of Bruges, Belgium. It's very charming. That's you. Why is that me? That's us. I don't know who that man is, but you're clearly... It's not you? Not with me and that. This is where we ate last night. Our traditional Belgian food. Aww. We took a detour to this adorable little part of town. Um, maybe I'll try to find it online, like the name of the street and give you a little name drop. But it was actually really cool. We just met this Belgian man who doesn't live in Bruges. He lives in Tournai. Tournai and is just visiting for the day. And he was giving us all sort of recommendations for other towns in Belgium, which we really don't have much time here, but we'll see. Maybe we can make it work and check out one of those other little towns. But either way, he was really sweet. I wish we could stay here like a month. <laughs> it's just so sleepy and peaceful and there doesn't seem like there's that much going on. Do you feel like you could stay here, like have a house here or, or live here? Yeah, we just went by a real estate office. <laughs> doesn't look like it's uh, close to anything in Orange County where we live, so someday maybe Bruges, we can here we buy go. ourselves a little Bruges. Aww. Oh, I would love that. That way we could wake up next to a little canal, drive our little moped boat over to a coffee shop. Oh yes, moped boat. A boped, if you will. A boped, yes. Okay. Or just a market, I don't know, but there's a free. We found the market, the main market square with the Christmas market. Thank you very much. 
all of these lovely little shops, little historical areas, and the most iconic of all. Dang, that's a big cinema. Oh, my feet can begin to thaw. <laughs> Your little toes. This place is so cozy. It's known for its warm chocolate milk. So this is as far as you can get without buying a ticket. So I think we're going to get a ticket to go inside and see the rest of this place. Just got our tickets. It was 6 years as a person for anyone under 26, so it might be a little bit more up here. There's many things from the Rococo style in here. <laughs> Rococo. Which Can you explain is what is Rococo style? Oh, it's just a design from a certain century. I forget which century. Wow. But it's very, very ornate. Very ornate. Overly is it like ornate. that? Is that Rococo style? It's technically Baroque. Oh, is it kind of like Baroque? How could you not tell? Uh, I think it's before or after the Baroque style. Mm. Could be wrong. We should fact check. We'll Google up Rococo. So this is Rococo. Rococo. The Church of Our Lady dates back to the 13th century and it houses a ton of fine art, as well as important burials dating back to the 1400s, such as Charles I, Duke of Burgundy, and his daughter Mary of Burgundy. But perhaps the most famous piece in this church is the Madonna of Bruges, an original Michelangelo that was actually stolen by Napoleon and then again by the Nazis during World War II before being returned to Bruges. <laughs> that's how big if that's how big a person is up to like that point. That person's gonna be like that tall. So we're in another Beginhof? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'll put the spelling down here. How would you say it? A Beinhof. It has a G though. I'm kidding, I don't know. I'm not sure, but um, basically what it is from my understanding is a neighborhood where, well, thank you. Basically what I can understand of it is that it's a neighborhood where women who were from the church, is it like nuns specifically? I don't or, know just women who worked in this church um, like lived here 
I'd have to check if this one also is still just women. The one that we saw in Amsterdam is still only women living in this neighborhood. So this one might be the same thing. It's basically just this like historic neighborhood and it's so peaceful and pretty. And whenever you come in, you're supposed to be really quiet and like not disturb the peace. Um, but it's probably the prettiest neighborhood of any city. And I wish we had bacon offs at home. They're so nice. Matt just noticed that all of the trees like lean this way. It's kind of weird. He said maybe they're all leaning so they can hear the service in the church. <laughs> We finished the day with another Belgian dinner featuring a lovely view over a canal. We walked around town and even stumbled upon a grove of lit up Christmas trees. Am I in a dream right now? <laughs> <laughs> I swore I could hear music in the distance, so we searched around and discovered there was actually a race going on through the city. morning from Bruges. It's our second full day here and actually our last which makes me really sad because we leave tomorrow for Brussels to finish off our trip and then we go home. So weird. But anyway we just finished up breakfast at the Bauhaus where we're staying. It was really nice. They actually gave us complimentary breakfast for every day even though technically our reservation didn't come with it but they said since we were staying a few days I think that's longer than like the average person who stays there I guess because they were like you're staying with us a few days so we'll give you breakfast and we were only staying three nights but I guess that's longer than the, the average. I was just hitting on you. That must be it while my husband stands right next to me. Any guy that's nice to me that's that's the automatic answer. Can't possibly be that they're nice or friendly but oh well. You're a wee bit chilly. My fingies are very, 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 very cold. <laughs> They're just numb stubs. <laughs> you heard it here. Numb stubs. First thing on our agenda today, what is it? We're gonna climb that thing. Whoa. It's very tall. So apparently, for security reasons, they can't have a ton of people up in the tower, which makes sense. But well, they just sell out. So they you sell just have to like time. get there early enough to get the time that you want. It's like pick a time that you want to come back. We got one for a little bit from now, so we're gonna walk around, and I think we're gonna go see like a cool park and maybe an ice skating rink. Mm -hmm. Freeze our nibbins off a bit more, <laughs> and then uh, go back and check out the tower. Yeah. to the park and this is kind of the first part of it but we were here yesterday you might recognize all the swans so pretty apparently aren't they here because Maximilian of Habsburg said that there have to be swans in Bruges because his friend got his head chopped off look at this beautiful little house right on the river Matt is so patient with me whenever I film I end up taking forever and taking so many shots and he's so nice for waiting. Right. Probably one of the coolest ice drinks we've seen. Right in front of that beautiful church, right on the water. 
What do you think of the ice rink? It's pretty sick. Sick. It's cool that it's, it's on the water. It's like literally on the the river here. Yep, right there. And then they built this big kind of wharf thing, and that's where the ice rink mm -hmm. is. And then this big eerie. Totally. Looks like there's plenty of space. This will be really neat at night. Well, we just walked across the bridge and now we are exploring Minnewater Park, if I'm saying that right. It's a very pretty little area. Lots to see. Even a little chessboard. It's the leaning tree of Christmas. He doesn't think I'm funny. I'm gonna go get us some waffles. Yes, please. <laughs> It gets a lot busier here once the sun comes up. Seriously, it's way busier than just like an hour ago when we were here. Alright, we just got done at Fred's and now we have to go find a place to eat it. I got a waffle with Nutella and crumbled speculoos cookies. Matt, what'd you get? I got a waffle with some caramel. And I think she, yeah, she put crumbled hazelnuts on yours. Yum, yum. I think the best waffle I've ever had. That was very, very good. Mm -hmm. I wish they were all like that. <laughs> Maybe I'll figure out how to make it that good at home. Well, we've used up our time and now it's time to go back and climb up the tower. So we're going to go back to the tower and present our tickets and see what it's like. 360 something stairs up, up above the tower. Gotta get our tickets. Mm, so I would love my tickets, tickets please. please. <laughs> The first of many, many stairs. So it turns out that the bottom two layers of the tower were built during the 13th century, but the top tower was built between 1482 and 1486. This thing is old. There's 366 to be exact. So apparently this used to be the treasury. Now this room still houses some interesting information that you can read about on a break from the stairs. Back up the stairs. At the second exit, you come up the stairs here. Then you have some info here. Looks like it continues up here. <laughs> This one is. Ooh, there's a big bale. So it looks like these are the songs that they play in every like hour on the different times. And I guess they change it every two years on Easter. So these are the songs that run from now until Easter 2024. And 33 more up to the top. We're almost there, and then we have to go down 366 steps. back down. I'm probably not going to film this for my own um, safety, safety. <laughs> but 366 stairs to go. See you at the bottom. Oh, there we go. 
Wonderful. Like now if I could just do that to my toes. <laughs> Well, we made it back down the tower 366 steps later. Whoa, whoa, we did it. Honestly, it was actually really steep, especially at the top. Like, I don't know, very claustrophobic. It's a very tight spiral. So if you're considering doing it, just make sure you know what you're in for. And I probably wouldn't recommend bringing like little kids or uh, elderly people. Workout. It was it was a workout going up and it was slightly terrifying coming back down, but we made it and now maybe we have one time to squeeze in like one more thing before we have to head back to the room. So um, we'll see where it takes Better us. Squeeze something out though first. <laughs> Gross. We've now arrived in Jan or the Jan Jan van Eyck Park. There's the statue. There's Jan van Eyck. We heard it was a nice little square with beautiful views. And we're not disappointed. hurriedly rushing out because we missed our checkout time. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Could have sworn it was 11. It's our last day in Brews before we head to Brussels. And then we'll only have one day in Brussels and then we'll be going home. Thursday no come. Thursday no come. Oh, it's chilly. Good. Mm -hmm. Our time in Bruges is coming to an end. So We're walking sad. back to grab our stuff before we head to the bus station, then to the train, train station, station, then to Brussels. It's very sad to leave this place because it's so beautiful, picturesque everywhere you look. Like every little corner looks like a postcard and I have so many photos. Yeah. So sadly we must away to our next destination. I don't think I'm gonna film the journey too much. We'll see you soon in Brussels. See you in Brussels. What can we say about Bruges? We've explored so many amazing towns on this trip, but something about Bruges just made us feel so at home, so much so that we've already decided we wanna retire there someday. Or at least go back during the summertime. Being in Bruges feels like stepping back in time or into a storybook and I hope it never loses its charm. Coming up on the final vlog of our seven month journey through Europe is our two night stop in Brussels. Even though it was a quick visit, we saw some amazing architecture, ate as many Belgian treats as we possibly could, and even attended a Christmas market the night before our flight back to the US. Tune in next week for the bittersweet conclusion to this incredible adventure. Hey, you listen up here, Shani, and you listen real good. <laughs> this is my new look, and you're gonna, you're gonna like it, <laughs> one way or another. Mm, terrifying.